Mother's Day will certainly be different this year with drive by celebrations for some moms, maybe some gifts left at the door. Yeah, and very different for this mother daughter duo. They're on the front lines. They are nurses at the same hospital. Priya Mann shows us one of them went from treating the sick to needing treatment for herself. They've worked at a Metro Detroit hospital since 2004. Shannon is an ER nurse. Her mom, Linda, is a nurse in a general medical unit. They were facing COVID-19 together until Linda got sick. I just can't wait to give my mom a hug again. I'm used to seeing her all the time at work and stopping over to her house and not seeing her at all. It's just, it's been very hard. Shannon and her mom, Linda, are more than best friends. They're both nurses at St. Mary Mercy Livonia on the front lines of a pandemic. It was nice to have someone there to talk to um, and kind of just decompress after work because she knew what I was going through. And they saw firsthand the devastating toll of the virus. In all my years as a nurse, I've never seen the turnaround so quick when you're talking to a patient and they're doing okay. And then half an hour later, we're doing compressions on them because they're not surviving. Then in early April, Linda started showing symptoms and tested positive for COVID-19. When she got diagnosed, it was just, it was very scary at first. Thankfully, the 62-year-old grandmother and seasoned marathon runner never had to go to the hospital or be put on a ventilator. She's been recovering at home every day we're just we wake up grateful no, knowing that she's on the road to recovery and that she's healthy and thinking of all the people that have lost their moms and seeing all the deaths on the front line and knowing that some of these people were just healthy and they didn't have anything wrong with them and they still did not make it and you're even more grateful that I still have her around well Shannon won't be able to hug her mom on Mother's Day these healthcare heroes have never been closer it makes me appreciate her 10 times more than I did before. I love you, mom. I can't wait to see you. And I know Reese can't wait to see you too. And Linda's got a doctor's appointment next week. She's hoping she's given the all clear. After more than a month at home, Shannon says her mom really wants to get back to work doing what she's done all her life, helping others. I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Linda has five kids. She will welcome her eighth grandchild later this year. The entire family planning to celebrate her tomorrow, of course, from a distance.